Okay, so um, what I've got today is a, a broken flow reef. Uh, it's my daughter's, and uh, she got it, and she's very excited, and they do some incredible things. They roll up and down your arm, but unfortunately, because they're made out of one bit of metal, if that break, if that breaks, you know, if the join doesn't hold very well, and they don't hold very well if you throw them down the stairs, then they'll come apart, and you'll end up with basically a very loose spring. Now these flow rings um, rely on tension in order to stand up, in order to do anything. So this in its current state isn't tense. So you need to tense those up a bit. So what I'm going to do is just take it in its normal natural state and just try and add a couple of extra loops in to the flow ring. And I'm just going to do that by shortening each of these strands um, with the hope that what I'll do is shorten it sufficiently so that I'll have enough tension in it for it to stand up. Because if there isn't enough tension, um, it won't stand up. So just go around and try and get each of these loops a bit shorter. Try and keep them as consistent as you can. And um, you'll end up with something roughly where it should be. So that's uh, hopefully another couple of loops in there. Um, the other thing I'd suggest you do is just put a bit of tape. I don't know if you can see that very well. A bit of sellotape over the end of the one of the ends and then you can poke the two ends together once you've joined it all together. Now this will take you a couple of attempts. It's taken me three attempts or so. And it's very fiddly, um, so just bear with it. If you're if you're more dexterous than I am, you'll get it quicker. Anyway, uh, the way we do it, we take our first strand and hold it all in one hand. Um, and what we do, we loop over the top of the first strand and then through the middle and pull it away. And then what we do, we take the second strand and we loop over the top of the first strand through the middle. Make sure it links in nice and firmly, but then pull it away from the rest of the bunch. Take your third strand and try not to let them overlap too much because that is really fiddly if I overlap too much. So what I've got, first strand, second, second strand, third strand, and over the top, and round we go. And what you'll find is it might sort of start to fight against you a little bit, but bear with it, take your time. And the fourth one, over the top, and through the middle. And then the fifth one over the top and through the middle. And then the next one over the top and through the middle. And um, yeah, just let it find its own way. You don't want to bend it too hard, you don't want to bend it too fast. Next loop is in there over the top and oh, hopefully almost lost it through the middle, next one over the top and through the middle, if I can do that, told you it's tricky, next one over the top and through the middle, next one over the top and through the middle, And then finally, hurrah hurrah, one more over the top and through the middle. And what we want to do is we want to get these two meeting up. Now that's in its original position, this has gone over the top 
to meet it and hopefully hopefully we can jiggle these around a bit just make sure that's still linked and um, get them open now you don't want to pull this too fast Okay, now I'm just pulling this now, and I'm thinking they are supposed to be tight, but I might have overdone the tightness a bit. So I'm going to find that loop there. I'm going to unhook this. Oh, nervous, nervous times. And I'm going to try just to bring that back there. Take one loop out. Hurrah! There we go. So I had it a little bit too tight there. But again, if you don't have it tight enough, it'll just flop and it won't open at all. But there you go. We're back somewhere near normal now. If it's still not quite tight enough, then what you could do is you could take a squeeze out of that before you join it together. Um, and that will give you a, a little bit more room. But essentially, that's uh, back roughly to where it should be. There you go, like that, and then up and down again. So, hopefully that's helped. Uh, I couldn't find anything on YouTube that sort of answered that question. So, um, fingers crossed it will get you out of uh, any weeping children you might come across. Yeah. Get you away from all the tears, because you can fix it. Anyway, good luck. <laughs>